Hey, my legion. Uh, you know, I thought I'd do a produce uh, review. And I got my zombie sure tongue. Does everyone been, remember the band The Cranberries? Remember the song Zombie? You know, it doesn't have anything to do with some monster zombies. I got these dried cranberries. I think I did a review of these a while back. Speaking of the cranberries, your doll snacks from Import, Import Foods uh, from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now, these are really good. I, I think I did a review of these, and they're only a dollar. But we're here to talk about... Uh, uh, a place from uh, Golden Sands Farms in Plover, Wisconsin, and these are their fresh red potatoes. This was uh, at Sure Fine, three ninety nine for a five pound bag. Because you remember, I did a thing on Tall Man potatoes out of PA, and this is a five pound bag for three ninety nine. It's not too bad. Uh, I microwaved them, what I usually do. You know. Oh, you do that. Put them in a bowl with some butter and some cracked red pepper. Or a red pepper. Cracked black pepper. Now let's see how these are. These are uh, the fresh red potatoes from Golden Sands Farms. They don't have, they have it yet to read the small print on it. Mm. Yeah, those are really good. Uh, I really like the flavor of the red potatoes more than the russet or the uh, regular white potato or the russet or the, uh, or the gold ones. I never had blue potatoes before, but red, I really like red. They have a good waxy taste. They have a lot more personality and flavor and stuff like that in there. And uh, thankfully, this one has a lot of information. They're really good for you. You know, a lot of people say you should lay off potatoes. I like potatoes. I like red potatoes. And there's some, I don't know how good they'd be for making like french fries and stuff like that, but as for uh, microwave baked potato, they're, they're the best ones, I think. And what I wanted to tell you, but they got lots of good stuff in them. Uh, now, these are the smaller red potatoes. Some of the red potatoes, you can get them real small or decent size, like, okay. Okay, a real small one. Here's a teeny tiny one. You know, they're very good. <clears throat> anyway, there's lots of information. It says, like, <clears throat> 110 calories per uh, potato. Serving size, one potato, 110 calories. No fat, no saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, no sodium, potassium, whole bunch of potassium, 620 milligrams, that's 18% potassium, that's really good. I don't, I can't remember how many bananas have, but that's pretty good for potassium. Total carbohydrates, 26 grams, uh, 9%. That's the one thing was the starch and the carbs, that's, uh, if you're on a low carb diet, you probably want to avoid these. Uh, that's one of the bad things, I guess. Dietary fiber is 2 grams. <clears throat> sugar is only 1 gram. That's like natural sugar occurring in nature. Uh, 3 grams protein. Now for all the vitamins and stuff like that, it doesn't have any vitamin A, but it has 45% vitamin C, 2% calcium, iron is 6%. Now with the calcium, I put some uh, butter in there, you know, like you usually would with a baked potato, so the calcium is a little higher. You know, I use that uh, olive oil vegetable spread or whatever it was. That's pretty good. Uh, thiamine has 8%. Riboflavin, 2%. Niacin, 8%. Vitamin B6, 10%. Folate, 6%. Not McFoley. Folate. See, I still make stupid jokes and stuff like that. So I do so many jokes on wordplay and reference jokes. I'm probably going to end up being like the... Underground Des Miller food reviewer YouTube or some crap like that. Well, anyways, folate six percent, phosphorus six percent, 
magnesium 6%, zinc 2%, and copper 4%. That's not too bad. It's just weird we have all those chemicals, you know, like carp, copper and stuff like that. But you can't get copper wired. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. You have to eat it through food and stuff like that. It's weird to how you eat these metals and stuff through food. Uh, oh, well. Like I said, I highly recommend these. These are really good stuff. If you like potatoes, you can't go wrong with the red potatoes. So I highly recommend that. God, I can't remember the name. Golden Sands Farms Red Potatoes. And also these uh, dried cranberries. I think I did a review of these. Like if you have like a plain uh, oatmeal and stuff. My sister bought me plain oatmeal. I like apple and cinnamon. But um, you can add something like these dried cranberries to it. And for a dollar for a four ounce bag, it's not bad. Uh, I got those at Walmart. And I got the red potatoes. It's sure fine. All right. Until next time. Take care of my legions.